Hey Rob, it's Catherine here. Hey, it, again, I think it just felt easier just to do a, a, um, a video. Anyway, I am just going to go through the chamois and I've just oiled it up and everything. It looks really nice and pretty good. I, I'm going to start at the bottom here. This is where I meant with, you know, I spread this out more than normal. But this, uh, the neo, see how it's spread out like that and the, and the strings are kind of coming like this, tapering? What I do is I'll just squeeze here, just so that they're, they're um, parallel. Because the grooves on the bridge are fairly shallow. Um, anyway, yeah. Okay, so I'm going along, blah blah blah. blah. It's all nice and shiny. I love that. Dough cover. Actually, just I never said this before, but this is the best dough cover I've done. Because you know I do them kind of paper mache and handmade, and they're all nice and stuff. But this one has really nice clean edges. Anyway, I also forgot to mention I just put a really subtle. It's a different wood. I think this might be coconut wood. It's just at the octave, you know what I mean? Um, and I just put it there as a guide, just for fun, I guess. And you can see the joints are looking pretty darn good, I'd say. Where's the back? I won't put it down because the bridge is on. And yep. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, the, uh, the bone sawadi here. I couldn't, I couldn't, I'm just nervous about putting crazy glue in there because the whole thing got gummed up and then that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get that out, oy, nightmare. Anyway, I hope that's okay with you. Um, you'll get this before I send it, so you can let me know. I don't know what else to do, but what basically what happens is the Sawadee comes up. Um. And then it's, you know, buzzes away. And then when you lower it, it'll actually go down uh, because of the pressure on the string. But some, and I also, it, it was a little tight, so I loosened it a bit. So it's more likely to go on its own. But just so you know, oh, it's too high. Okay, where are we? There we go. Um, What I do, if, if I'm tuning it down and it sort of sticks up, then I just, just touch it with my finger and it goes down. Yeah, so other than that, I don't think there's too much more to say. I should send you the picture of the thing. Maybe actually what I could do, I'll just set this here and play a bit so you can hear how it's sounding right now. Oops. Hope this works out. <laughs> it's, you know, I, I took the strings off and stuff, so it's not really... It's not going to stay in tune. Because I just put the strings on five minutes ago. But I'll just play it a bit so you can hear. something on the Sawadi I do actually want to adjust. It's a little too loose, so I'm just going to put some uh, paper, glue some paper on. That's what I did before. It's very thin. Uh, it's just rattling a bit in there. Anyway, yeah, I guess that's about it. Uh, and actually, I'm going to take it apart, and then I'll show you what it looks like apart. And I'll, and I'll put the masking tape with numbers, okay? Okay, I'm back. Okay, so you can see I just put tapes on the inside of the joins. There's number one at the bottom, and number one here, and then number two for the part, the top part. Of the so you can see that. The other thing that's typically done is the strings are just really wrapped around the tendon like that between the pegs, and then then the needle's just tucked in like that. That's typically how you do it if you're traveling and stuff. But you know, feel free to. Uh, you don't have to take it apart, you can just keep it together all the time, you know, if you're just at home and stuff. Um, that's, I think that's a good idea myself, just keep it together. It doesn't need to be apart. Um, geez, is there anything else? Anything else? Anything 
can see the, the back. There's the, the uh, strap things and the strap the strap button things are made of bloodwood. Right. I guess that's probably it. Anyway, if, you have, if something pops up and you have some questions, I really like the see the that that line on the tension. I really like that myself. Maybe I'll keep doing that as well. Just has a nice. I mean, it goes all the way through, right? It just has a cover on. You can take the cover off if you want, but it, the cover's really nice and it fits that the style really nice with it flared like that. Yeah. Anyway, okay. So I guess that's it. Oh, the dough. You can see uh, like this. Here, actually, I'll do it while we're, if I can. Um, here, I'll put my knee here. You can see that the neck just pops right out of the dough, right? Um, and uh, so the whole thing comes apart. But normally I keep this together, and, and when I ship it, uh, oops, get in there. When I ship it, I will, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sort of tie it so that it doesn't come off. So it's just easier when you put it together and put the strings on. Because sometimes that pops off, and you can see here, see there's tiny little grooves here that this cord fits under. It's a little bit different too. And I did it this way because it's so tightly fitted here, right? Um, and also, normally the, the string would come up because there'd be a space right here, right? It would come up over and wrap there because there'd be a space there. But because it's so tight to the dough, you can't really do that. Anyway, so I put a little grooves there and, and the cord just fits in. And the cord is this especially kind of Japanese braid that I do. So it's, that's kind of special too. It looks really beautiful with the black and white. I mean red and black here. Anyway, I guess that's about it. Okay, bye.